Have you ever stopped to think why absolutely everything in the universe rotates? The Earth, for example, is rotating right now. The Moon. And at the same time, the Sun. The entire solar system. Entire galaxies rotate like colossal disks. And it doesn't stop there. Even subatomic particles have something called spin. Practically everything in the universe is spinning. But where does all this rotation come from? The answer begins 13.8 billion years ago, with the Big Bang. In the beginning, matter and energy were distributed almost uniformly, but not perfectly. Small variations in density created regions that began to collapse under gravity. And when something collapses in space, any initial motion is amplified. It's called conservation of angular momentum. The result? Clouds of gas that would give rise to stars and planets began spinning faster and faster and never stopped. In space, there is no air, wind, or any form of resistance capable of slowing down a rotating body. There's no equivalent to the friction of wheels on asphalt or the drag of air on Earth. It's a virtually frictionless environment. This means that once a planet, a star, or even a small space rock starts spinning, it will continue to do so for billions, even trillions of years. It's as if each planet were a spinning top thrown into the void at the dawn of the universe's history. And this spinning top simply finds nothing to stop it. The rotation only changes when an immense external force interferes, and in space, that usually means colossal collisions. It was likely an event like this that transformed Venus into the strange planet we know today. Its rotation is slow, reversed, and so slow that a single Venusian day is longer than the planet's own year. Something so extreme could only have been caused by a devastating impact in the distant past, which completely altered its motion. Earth also bears the scars of this kind of encounter. Early in its formation, a Mars-sized object called Thea violently collided with our planet. This impact not only influenced the speed and inclination of our spin, but also ejected enough material to form our moon. Aside from these very rare accidents, the rotational movement is practically eternal. It's as if the entire cosmos were a gigantic, silent clockwork, where every planet and star is a gear that has been spinning non-stop since the birth of the universe. Ultimately, each rotation is a living vestige of the moment of creation, a reminder that the initial energy of the Big Bang still pulses, invisible but constant, moving everything around us. The cosmic dance is not only beautiful, it is inevitable. If the Earth stopped rotating, chaos would engulf the planet. One hemisphere would remain eternally turned toward the sun, turning it into a hellish desert with temperatures that would evaporate oceans. The other would plunge into absolute cold, where everything would freeze to the core. Without rotation, we would lose atmospheric equilibrium. Violent winds, comparable to permanent hurricanes, would sweep the planet from side to side. The tides, driven by the moon's rotation and gravity, would simply collapse. Earth's magnetic field, our invisible shield against solar radiation and cosmic rays, would disappear, exposing the surface to a lethal bombardment. Rotation is not just a movement. It is the compass that keeps life possible on this planet. This initial rotation, intensified by gravitational collapse, shaped the fate of everything around us. As these clouds spun faster, they flattened, forming disks, protoplanetary disks, the birthplace of stars and planets. This initial rotation, intensified by gravitational collapse, shaped the fate of everything around us. We're talking about colossal masses of dark matter, gas, and primordial dust, slowly rotating in a still-boiling universe. 
As these clouds spun faster, their own gravity pulled matter toward the center, a violent and inevitable collapse. And as physics dictates, any rotation, no matter how small, is drastically amplified when there is a collapse of mass. The result? The cloud flattened and took shape. The first galactic disks were born. These disks, spinning like stellar whirlpools, gave rise to spiral galaxies, vast structures with hundreds of billions of stars locked in a gravitational ballet. Spiral arms emerged not by chance, but as a direct consequence of rotational motion, organizing stars, interstellar dust and gas into magnificent patterns. The galactic rotation is so intense that it prevents the galaxy from collapsing in on itself. It's a perfect balance between centrifugal force and gravity, a cosmic paradox where destruction is contained by the dance itself. When astronomers measured the rotation of galaxies, they noticed something strange. The edges of galaxies were spinning faster than they should. Something invisible was holding everything together. This is how the concept of dark matter was born, a phantom force that shapes the universe without emitting a single ray of light. Galactic rotation isn't just a secondary effect of gravity. It's a cosmic signature, a trace of the Big Bang. A reminder that the universe doesn't just exist, it spins, pulsates, and dances in a gravitational symphony that has echoed for billions of years. The same pattern repeats itself within the quantum world. At the heart of matter lies a concept that shatters everything you think you know about motion, quantum spin. It's not an ordinary rotation. An electron doesn't spin like a top, but it still has spin. It's an intrinsic property, as fundamental as mass or electric charge. Spin defines how particles behave, how they interact, and even whether they can exist together, as in the famous Pauli exclusion principle, and it even determines the rules of the game of reality. It's a cosmic seal embedded in the fabric of the universe. A rotation without an axis, without friction, without time. But with enough power to sustain reality itself. Ultimately, the universe rotates because it always has. It's a legacy of the Big Bang, a primordial impulse that not only launched matter into space, but also caused it to rotate. Since then, this rotation has been perpetuated by immutable laws of physics, as if the universe had wound itself up and never stopped. Every orbit of a planet around its star, every elegant spiral of a galaxy, every subatomic particle with its invisible spin, all are part of the same cosmic symphony. It's as if the entire universe were engaged in a dance that began at the moment of creation, a dance that knows no rest, that ignores boredom, that refuses to stop. We are passengers in this eternal movement. Our days, even time as we know it, are governed by this rotation. The spin of the universe is imprinted on everything, from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy cluster. This dance will never stop. Because the universe doesn't just spin, it keeps spinning. If you've watched this far, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Leave your opinion in the comments.